In the following PSPP tutorial, we'll be going over how to create a frequency distribution and look at descriptive statistics for a continuous variable, age, and for another categorical variable, race. So I've already opened the GSS, and I did that simply by double-clicking the icon on my desktop, which assumes, of course, you've got PSPP installed and you've got the GSS data set downloaded to a location that you're aware of and I simply opened that GSS data set from uh, where I saved it which is a network drive and here we are so to create the frequency distribution and look at descriptive statistics I'm gonna click analyze descriptive statistics frequencies and you'll notice descriptives is another choice but uh, conveniently when we do frequencies we can also generate the descriptive statistics looks like I got an email <laughs> okay okay so I'm gonna choose age this is a continuous variable that means the values run together which is different than a categorical variable like race where the categories are discrete and separate okay so I've got age over there and I'm gonna also add race dichotomized and we'll illustrate these points. We'll click on charts and I'm gonna choose histograms. I always want to choose percentages and I'm also gonna create the pie chart and this will be interesting looking for the age variable as we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll see that that's not really an appropriate way to uh, display continuous variables and uh, we'll see why in a minute. So I'll continue frequency table everything should be fine here. We'll click continue with that and looks like everything's in order. Uh, this shows us the types of statistics we can generate. With a continuous variable like age, we always want to, to show the mean and the standard deviation. As you scroll down, you can see the minimum and the maximum values will also be shown, and that's fine for, for both. I'm not too concerned about those, the ones we're looking at now. The mode will be interesting for race because that'll tell us which category has the most people. We'll scroll through. The median will be fine for uh, age, which the median age, the middle age, um, and that should do it. So we have our statistics down here. We have our variables chosen up here. We've specified the types of charts we want to see, and I'm going to click OK. And this output results and you see this is a table that shows us the frequency or the number of people falling into each value of age so this says there are five people who are 18 years old the next one says there are 14 people who are 19 years old and over here we have the percentage so that says well, about one percent of the sample is 19 and there are 1500 people so that's one percent of 1500 the cumulative percent you see adds the previous values and keeps building. So if we go down to say where it says 32 and come over we can see that that says 37. So essentially that says that about a third of the sample is 37 years old or younger. So that's how you would interpret uh, a frequency table for a continuous variable. The histogram gives us a visual representation of that. Uh, it shows us all the age values plot it out, right? So this will show us the same thing. Down here you can see that the frequency table is much shorter because we're looking here at a categorical rather than a continuous variable. So there's only two values and those values are one or two. Uh, in this case one is white and two is minority and the variable is race, dichotomized. Uh, so the, the category minority blends together all the different minority groups. Uh, here's the percentage, so it says that three quarters of the sample is, is white, reports being white. And uh, so a much simpler interpretation of this frequency table. <coughs> Down here we simply have a visual representation. Generally the histogram is not the best way to uh, depict the, uh, the values of, that are categorical. It's better for continuous, you see this type of thing. What's better is this, the pie chart, where you can see this visual representation of the two variable of the two categories rather for the variable race dichotomized. You see 
And so uh, that's what we have. That's our output. And we can save this output. Export it. I will export it uh, to my desktop. And I will call this um, age and race freak frequency distribution. OK, and I will save that to my desktop. Uh, OK, and it's going to be a PDF. And down here, I can choose that. See that? And I will click Save. And it will automatically create a PDF document with this output. So I'm going to close the windows. I haven't done anything to change the data set, so I'm just going to cancel out of there. And if I do want to make changes, I want to save those changes. And here, uh, I should have, yep, there it is. And I I made a mistake here. You have to actually type the uh, extension, which is .pdf. So let me type that so it knows what kind of file extension it is. OK, and you see it automatically took on this PDF icon. So I'll double click that, and I should have the output I generated now as a PDF. And you see that there it is. Everything looks good here. Uh, yep. You notice that there are a lot of values of age. Don't worry about that. Uh, I'm not going to be concerned. You can see that you've got the descriptive statistics over here on the right. So I know the mean age, the standard deviation, and the sample size, which is 1,493. There are actually 1,500 in the sample. That means seven did not answer the question. And there's the race pie chart. And that's it. And that's how we create frequency distributions and uh, examine descriptive statistics, which I neglected to mention, appear in this table beneath the frequency uh, table. So we see the mean, the mode, standard deviation, and so on. Okay, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed.